This video is sponsored by Granite Studio, RKDF University. Good morning. I'm Vidushri Agarwal and you're watching News Flash. Today is 29th of March and we have a lineup of crucial stories touching every corner of the globe. From the latest developments in politics to groundbreaking technological advancements. US economy expanded at a strong 3.4% annual pace in the final quarter of last year, surpassing previous estimates of 3.2% according to updated government figures released on Thursday. Revised data from the Commerce Department reaffirmed that the economy had slowed down from its rapid 4.9% expansion in the preceding July to September quarter. UN described the situation in Haiti as cataclysmic, citing over 1,500 deaths from gang violence this year and a flood of firearms into the nation. A recent study by the UN Human Rights Office highlighted how gang violence, corruption and governance failures have pushed state institutions to the brink of collapse. Palestinian PM Mohammed Mustafa unveiled a new cabinet with himself taking on the role of foreign minister. Interior Minister Ziad Havalri retains his position overseeing security forces while Ashraf Al Awad, a Fatah candidate, assumes the role of Minister for Jerusalem Affairs. Estonia's military chief general Martin Hirim urged the nation to double defence spending within two years to bolster its munition supply against potential Russian aggression. He warned that neither nuclear threats nor casualties would deter a possible invasion by Russia. China's military criticized the United States for affirming Arunachal Pradesh as part of India, highlighting existing mechanisms for border dispute resolution between India and China. They stressed dialogue and consultation as preferred approaches to address territorial concerns. The Ministry of External Affairs confirms that one of the 20 Indian nationals aboard a cargo ship with lost power and collided with a bridge in Baltimore, Maryland required stitches before reboarding the damaged vessel. Tide is turning against the junta in Myanmar, increasingly being backed into the corner. Senior General Ming Ong Hyang, military regime has ramped up its brutal tactics to terrorize the people into submission. Amazon has unveiled plans for a $2.75 billion investment in Anthropic, an AI-focused company doubling down on its initial investment made in September last year. The decision to increase its investment suggests confidence in Anthropic's progress and strategic importance in the AI landscape. Apple faces a challenging landscape in China as official data reveals that one-third decline in iPhone shipments compared to the previous year, highlighting stiff competition from Chinese smartphone brands in the world's second largest economy. Sri Lankan Buddhist monk Gala Goda Athe Nanasara, known for his Hardline Views was sentenced to four years of rigorous imprisonment for making Islamophobic remarks in 2016. The High Court also fined him for rupees 100,000. In Illinois, USA, a stabbing spree at multiple residences resulted in the deaths of four people, including an adolescent girl, and left at least five others injured. The incident occurred on Wednesday afternoon with a 22-year-old suspect detained by Rockford Municipal Police. Indian Ministry of External Affairs criticized the U.S. State Department's remarks regarding the arrest of Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal, deeming them unwarranted. The MEA stated that external commentary on India's electoral and legal procedures is completely unacceptable. Recent findings led by Imperial College London suggest that Mars may have retained more water for a longer period than previously believed. The research based on data from NASA's Curiosity rover uh, exploring Mars' Gale Crater sheds new light on the planet's past water dynamics. China accused the Philippines of escalating tensions in the South China Sea, responding to President Ferdinand Marcos' assertion that his country will not be intimidated by Beijing. The two nations have been involved in maritime disputes in the contested region. It's time for a break now. We'll be back with more news. Stay tuned. ये सब आपके रिश्तेदार हैं। बिजनेस पार्टनर है जी। ये दीदी बंगाल में बिजनेस संभालती हैं। वो चाचा बिहार में 
ये यूपी में ये मुंबई में और ये चेन्नई में और इन्होंने हाल ही में खोली है दुकान दिल्ली में पूरे देश में बिजनेस फैला है जी सब कमाते हैं और मेरी बात तो खाते हैं इंडियन चीज है चाइनीस नहीं <laughs> दूल्हे तो आप ही हो ना और कौन होगा जी देखिए दादी का दिया हुआ सब कुछ है सरनेम है दौलत है शोहरत है इज्जत है मतलब मिल जाएगी शादी के बाद जी ओ हेलो दूल्हा कौन होगा ये डिसाइड नहीं हुआ है अब तक दूल्हा हम बनेंगे इज्जत की कोई कमी नहीं है ए भाई तुम तो रहने ही दो हमारी दुकान इनसे काफी बड़ी है दूल्हा तो हम ही बनेंगे है ना पापा 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 सब गुरबत इसको तो हम बिहार में दूल्हा बना देंगे लेकिन यहाँ पे दूल्हा हम ही बनेंगे ओ काका सारी शादियाँ क्या आपके ही घर में होगी क्या और हम क्या यहाँ यू ही दुकान खोल के बैठे हैं क्या ओ भाई पिछली बार भी किसी दूसरे की बारात पे दूल्हा बन गए थे आप इस बार आपकी दुकान भी आपके नाम से नहीं है अरे रुको 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 इसके बारे में हम बाद में बात करेंगे ओ दादा दूल्हा तो इनके मैनेजर ही बनेगी दूल्हा तो छोटे बाबा ही बनेंगे आपको लगता है ये अपने बीच दूल्हा चुन सकते हैं तो प्रधानमंत्री कैसे चुनेंगे खानदानी लुटेरों की कोशिश होगी बेकार अब की बार 400 पार शिक्षा देश का गौरव है और आर के डी एफ यूनिवर्सिटी शिक्षा का उद्रम है आर के डी एफ में सवारे अपना भविष्य पी एच डी एम फिल करे अपने पसंदीदा विषय में सर्टिफिकेट डिप्लोमा के चौहत्तर कोर्सेज आर के डी एफ यूनिवर्सिटी द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफिस इन ल्यूटन दिल्ली होटल जानपाथ एज वेल एज एयरपोर्ट टर्मिनल्स ग्रेनाइट स्टूडियो इंडिया विद इस प्रेस्टिजियस ब्रांड्स रिच एक्सपीरियंस एंड द ट्रस्ट ऑफ आर क्लाइंट्स कैन बी योर रिलायबल पार्टनर वी आर हेयर फॉर यू फॉर इनोवेटिंग प्रोसेसिंग सप्लाइन एंड एक्सिक्यूटिंग इन स्टोन Contact us today for our special sample kit. Days after Foreign Minister Ishaq Dar hinted at the possibility of restoring trade ties with India, Pakistan clarified that it has no immediate plans to resume trade with India, which has been suspended since August 2019. United Nations Special Envoy for Congo warns that security in the mineral rich east of the country has worsened since recent elections. A rebel group reportedly linked to neighboring uh, Rwanda has made significant advances and expanded its territory in the region. Pakistan reaffirmed that it has no doubt the heinous Bisham terror attack which claimed the lives of five Chinese nationals was orchestrated by enemies seeking to harm Pakistan China friendship. The government pledged to bring the perpetrators to justice. China's decision to lift tariffs imposed on Australian wine over 3 years ago signaling a positive development in the relationship between the two nations the ministry of commerce stated that the decision would be effective starting today dimitri kuleba the foreign minister of war on ukraine arrived in new delhi on thursday for a two day trip aimed at enhancing bilateral ties and cooperation between kiev and new delhi this visit marks the first by the ukrainian foreign minister to india in 7 years Rishi Sunak is preparing for a new crackdown on Chinese entities operating in Britain in response to repeated cyber attacks attributed to Beijing. Allies of the Prime Minister emphasized that any actions taken would be proportionate. The collapse of Baltimore's Brant's Scott Key Bridge is anticipated to trigger the largest marine insurance loss on record, according to Bruce Carnage Brown, the chair of Lloyd of London, in an interview. Gangster turned politician Mukhtar Ansari passed away at the age of 60 following a heart attack in response the UP government has imposed section 144 in Mau and Ghazipur while security has been heightened in several areas including Ghazipur Balia and Prayagraj where Ansari had significant influence 
Defence Minister Rajnath Singh defended the Agnipat scheme, assuring that the future of youth joining as Agnivirs would not be affected. He also stated that the government is open to making any necessary changes to the scheme. Delhi Lieutenant Governor VK Saxena launched a fresh attack on Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal on Thursday, this time alleging irregularities in the probe of the Baba Sahib Ambedkar Medical College sexual harassment case. Shiv Sena, led by Maharashtra Chief Minister Eknath Shinde, announced candidates for eight Lok Sabha seats in the state. The list includes seven sitting MPs and former Congress MLA Raju Parve, who received a ticket for the Ram Tech seat slated for polling on April 19. Six time BJD MP Bhatruari Mehtab, former lawmaker and actor Siddhant Mohapatra, and noted Santali writer Damyantri Beshra joined the BJP. Their entry into the BJP has triggered speculation that they may contest in the forthcoming Lok Sabha and Assembly elections. PM Modi launched a scathing attack on the Congress party following a letter from hundreds of lawyers to Chief Justice of India, D.Y. Chandshu. The letter alleged that a vested interested group is attempting to exert pressure on the judiciary and tarnish the image of courts. Bollywood actor Govinda has joined Maharashtra Chief Minister Eknath Shinde's Shiv Sena, bringing a touch of glamour to the upcoming Lok Sabha elections in Maharashtra. Govinda is expected to contest from Mumbai Northwest as he returns to politics after the break. Canadian PM Justin Trudeau expressed Canada's willingness to collaborate with India to investigate the killing of Sikh separatist Hardeep Singh's Nijar. However, New Delhi stated that it has not yet received any substantial information on the case from Ottawa. Former IPS officer Sanjeev Bhatt was sentenced to 20 years in prison on March 28 by a session squad in Palanpur, Gujarat for his involvement in a 1996 drug planting case. The sentence was imposed under NDPA sections 21 and 27A with a fine of 2 lakh rupees. That's all for the headlines of the day. For more updates, download the app and keep watching with them.